why you need paid advertising in your online business. We're going to talk about the new phase that I'm in. For most of my time here on YouTube, I have used free organic traffic. For most of my time, you can still get a lot of free traffic from YouTube if you set your channel up correctly. Now, I have been fighting with YouTube since 2016. Uh, I used to be the YouTuber that got all the new features, the new bells and whistles, and then I became disavowed. So one of the things that I started doing was using a little paid traffic to manipulate videos. And I had one strategy that worked very well. I would find a video same, you know, I would do an exact title. I would keyword it super nice and I would spend money on it to get it to outperform the organic video. And for about two years that worked very well because what would happen is I would have to spend money for maybe three weeks and then push it would take off and then that just stopped working so that's how i use paid traffic for you know 2017 18 19 and now i'm getting ready to get into some more paid traffic because i do better than most people organically what i make almost six figures but I, I've been watching YouTube videos and I've been looking at people. This thing with Russell Brunson, Tony Robbins, and Dean, whatever his name is, they made $12 million the first day using paid traffic and affiliates. $12 million in one day. And I was sitting there like, I want to accelerate this real estate uh, concept that I'm going to launch in August. And I, I need to start deploying some paid traffic. This is why I've started working on the Facebook ads. And, you know, the thing is, you hear about Facebook, you hear about YouTube, you hear about Instagram. You know, you can run ads on Bing. You can run ads on Reddit. Reddit. You can do stuff on instant Pinterest. So there are many places that you can deploy paid traffic and the guys who are making the, the long money all do paid traffic. And that's one of the things I've got to wrap my mentality around in terms of moving to the next level instead of a few million, you know, a million a year. I want to make million a month. And the only way I can get there is using paid traffic to go ahead and facilitate this real estate empire that currently resides in my mind. So if you have an online business, you need to master paid traffic A or B, have someone who is very proficient with paid traffic on your team. Now I'm going to give you the rundown because trying to do all of this stuff yourself can be overwhelming because Facebook ads is very complicated. Uh, Instagram ads, I've never run any, but that's part of Facebook. So I don't know how that will work. And then uh, Reddit ads, are tricky because of how Reddit works. I mean, the Redditors hate advertising. So you've got that going on. And then Pinterest, then Instagram, then the ads that run in the Facebook stories and the ads that run in the Instagram stories. There's a lot, but essentially what you need to do is Go ahead and start working on that now. Go ahead and make the mental adjustment 
to the fact that you've got to spend some money. There are many people who are very adverse to spending money. I, the, the, the guy in the back, I can get it for free. I could get it for free. You're not going to make two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten million a year without paid traffic. You're just not going to do that organically unless you are one of the YouTube channels that has been chosen. So I'm reaching out to people. I've got appointments lined up. Because my intention is to hire someone to do my Facebook ads. Because, you know, when you get people who have experience, it's worth paying them. Like I had a problem with my Facebook account, reached out to one person. He knew exactly what to do. And literally 30 minutes, the problem was solved. So that's one of the things you should do. What's up, Richard Mayfield? The DSLR Chronicles. The coach shows up. I'm showing up. What's up, Ben Billets? Davey. Thanks, Tiger Shark. Wolf mugs, wolf mugs, wolf mugs. We all know about Alex Becker. And he and that that's dramatic, those editorial effects he did. Ben Blitz, spend money, make money. Let's see. Uh I don't know why. Very nice video. You're doing best work. That's why I like to watch your videos. Keep it up. Please don't forget to join my channel. Uh, roadside words. If it works organically, will it work with paid traffic? Depends. And we're going to talk about that. Yeah, I lost 30 pounds courtesy of the heart attack. Yeah, it, it was crazy. 30 pounds in two weeks. Um, trying to keep that off. Urban Thomas. So paid traffic is better than organic traffic. Yes, organic traffic is hard to scale. Paid traffic you can scale with spent. So if you're really trying to make some move, because, you know, uh, like Ty Lopez, I would suspect that he's spending a million dollars a month on paid traffic. Because, see, his YouTube channel is dead. You know, go to Ty Lopez's channel, check out some recent videos that he dropped, you know, for someone to have like over a million um, subscribers, his videos don't do very well because, see, this is how YouTube will do you. And th this is one of the things that like if you have a YouTube channel, you got to be very careful with paid traffic. YouTube, since you're using paid traffic, will limit the organic reach of your channel. This has happened to me. And, you know, this is what I'm talking about, you know, tussling with YouTube uh, engaged in digital combat because, you know, essentially when I put paid traffic on my channel, I get more sales. It's not dialed in. You know, it's not like an ad that like go here to this course and blah, blah, blah. It's not that dialed in, but I have seen the results of de deploying paid traffic that way. So it depends on the audience. Deep thought. I did paid advertising through marketing 360 and bomb badly. YouTube giveth, YouTube taketh away. Man, you ain't never lied. That is one of the things that happens. Um, so let's talk about organic traffic. Some of the best organic traffic you can get is from a YouTube channel. If you hit the algorithm right, you could literally make millions. Uh, there are people, and the thing is, AdSense money has gotten way better over the last three years. Uh, there was a YouTuber, thank you, you all, who, who did $100,000 in AdSense money in one month. This is not uncommon. There are people who are doing that kind of money from AdSense money. Thanks, or you are. So, a big part of learning how to, because see, you're going to have to do testing to deploy the paid traffic. 
because you're going to have a few assumptions. You're going to have an ad. You're going to have what you want, desired results. And then you're going to have expectations how an ad will perform. Frequently, you know, in my um, AdWords account, typically when you can deploy a video that's so good that people share it, what Google AdWords will do is reduce your cost because you got to look at what they're trying to accomplish here. They're trying to accomplish user, uh, a positive user experience. So if you deploy ads that are so good that people share them, YouTube, Google will lower your cost of ads. Same thing with Facebook, same thing with Instagram, because you are helping them keep people on the platform. So that's one of your little rewards. So typically when I had, you know, when I sit down and take my time and craft a video, I can get 70 to almost 80% watch through rate. And this is how I know that YouTube is picking and choosing because when you put some money on the video and you have like a 70 something percent watch through rate, and this is an interruption. This is an ad that comes up before the video and people are watching that video. So it isn't a problem with the videos. It's a problem with how YouTube has juiced up its algorithm for me. And like I said, you know, last three years I've used paid advertising and it's come up. What's up, Star Scott? Star is cotton. Thank you. Uh, Deep thought. Who have you chosen? I haven't made that decision. See, part of this is you got to talk to people. You know, uh, the guy who, bam, uh, you know, he was just said a few words in the Facebook chat and that solved my problem. So, what's up, Richard? Irvin Thomas, I see someone on the same field as I'm in a pay per click, but I don't know how and when to use it. This is where your experimentation comes in. This is where testing comes in. You you have to do some testing. And you you have to spend some money before you get it back. Uh, roadside words. I test my ads on Facebook and Google Plus to see if they convert. If they do, I put money behind the same ad in paid traffic. Well, typically, if an ad will, you know, because essentially my better videos, how many of y'all remember that video? How to make money with how to make how to start a business with no money? That did very well, and that's one of the videos I did the system on, and that video ranked for about four years. And then YouTube, as someone said, YouTube giveth, YouTube take it away, YouTube deranked it, and it, it was, um, you know, disheartening. But you know, once again, don't hate the player, don't hate the game, learn the rules so you can win. So for me to move to the next level, I gotta use paid traffic, and I have to align myself with people who know how to deploy paid traffic. What's up, Denise Taylor? Euro is at works. I don't know what that works is because essentially if you were to Google pay traffic. Let's do that real quick. Paid traffic. Let's get into this. You will find out that there's a lot of platforms that you can get um, the traffic marketplace. Let's like paid traffic, Facebook. You know, Facebook's a big one. And all paid traffic platforms are not created equal. Facebook. Google AdWords, which they changed the name of, and Instagram ads are very efficient. Some of this newer stuff and LinkedIn, you can run paid traffic on LinkedIn. I got to figure, I got to devote more time to that because I ran an ad and I got two sales. I did not make enough money to justify, but 
essentially you've got to uh, a big part of paid traffic is how you're set up. You got to set up for paid traffic. You got to create a funnel. You've got to create some digital asset pieces to facilitate your paid traffic success. And this is why it takes time. And this is why, you know, if you have a certain, um, you know, like Ty Lopez, he's got a full time Google AdWords person. He's probably got a full time Facebook ads person because, you know, what at their level, what they're doing you need someone whose eyes are focused on your business. Life for a business. What do you think about YouTube ads versus Facebook ads? I haven't had the experience. With, I haven't had much experience with Facebook ads, so I can't really say. Um, you know, I'm running some ads right now, so that's to be coming up. What's up, Denise? Taylor, the DSL Chronicle, YouTube's definitely picking and choosing. I have recently, I had a recent filmmaking business or in video. I only got 23 views organically, but the watch time was bananas at 348. And see, YouTube should have pushed that up crazy because of the watch time. What do you think about MWR Financial? They build both you and your spouse credit also. I have no idea. I, I have a policy. If I don't know of this company, I don't talk about it. I can't say one way or another. Star Scott, and that's why it's best to have. Absolutely. Because, you know, you will see uh, Grant Cardone, Ty Lopez. They'll be streaming on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. And you have to have two phones to do that because... Facebook doesn't like when you do that. They don't like that. Herbert Scott, being that YouTube is a Google subsidiary, I think they're purposely forced people to use Google ads, SEO methods to separate from free. Uh, thanks, uh, Israel. Here's what I know. If you hit the algorithm correctly, you don't have to have good thumbnails. You don't even have to fill in the metadata. You, let me show you um, this one chick, Joe Anna. All right. She's one of the chosen ones. All right. Two point six million views. Uh, you see this over here for the metadata. She puts up the stupidest stuff. And she put this up 23 hours ago. She got almost half a million views. The, the people who love her, this crowd, because, I mean, like, see, she uses no tags. This is what happens when YouTube pushes you. Like when YouTube was pushing my video about, you know, where the rich people of Atlanta live, I was getting 100 to 150 new subscribers a day because they were pushing it. And this is what happens when YouTube really pushes a video. You will get a lot of subscribers. You don't have to do the correct stuff. You don't have to follow best practices. It doesn't matter. Rose Aurora, I personally love the paid traffic source. Traffic for me, great platform. Headliners are key. Check out Gold Data Agency. Huh. 
Ben Blitz, what kind of business you running? I have two online schools that I sell courses. It's pretty transparent what I do. You know, it, it, it's it's very because I wouldn't say she's ratchet. She's just kinky, weird. She's just very weird. Uh, Eric William, thoughts on buying YouTube channels? Any YouTube channel worth buying is gonna cost you a grip because, like, um, let's say you want to get a channel that had a hundred thousand um, hits, you know, hundred thousand subscribers. Um, depending on who's the talent on front of the camera, that could be very challenging. Plus, uh, everything I've seen that was to sell for YouTube started at 18,000 and went on up from there. So, you know, because I thought about it because uh, I've actually made my first Instagram channel, Instagram account purchase. I got me an account that's got 96,000 subscribers. And I did my first post today. And it's still going. I mean, I got 530 likes. Uh, typically, the, the channel is getting 1,800 to 1,900 likes. But they're rolling out through the day. And then I'm going to experiment with that. I think if you have an ability, because, you know, any channel that's worth buying, because you got, you know, that, that gets very complicated because, you know, like take a BuzzFeed channel. They hire these people. So that's interesting. But if you're the, you, you know, like your channel, Erica, how could you sell your channel? You're in all the videos. You would have to sell your name, Erica Williams. So that gets very complicated. So I haven't really moved up to buying a YouTube channel because once again, you can still grow a YouTube channel very rapidly if you have the right topic. So that's some other stuff that I'm trying to do organically because you know, people are funny. Remember when I had Valencia working for me and I had her and where she was doing stuff and people hated that. People were like, we don't want to see her. We want to see you. So I can see if you bought someone's channel that was doing a certain type of content and that person was the channel talent and then there's you, you might lose half your subscribers. Uh, Lewis Stream TV. I'm looking into Fiverr for Facebook ads for my affiliate business. See, and this is something else. Uh, what Lewis has got going on. I'm going to read it. I'm looking into Fiverr for Facebook ads for my affiliate business. 25. I'm noticing I'm not converting the sale even to my product of only $30 a month. Looking at 200 weekly to see the results. Paid traffic works very poorly with low priced items. So you got to look at it like this, you know, when you're looking at it, like uh, I may put paid traffic on the art of holding. It's a $500 product. So if I have to spend $500 to get two sales, I'm $500 ahead. So when you're designing your paid traffic model, you got to have the appropriate pricing in there. Like I would never do paid traffic on like a nine or ten dollar ebook. That's just it's just too hard to get your money back out of that. So part of your paid traffic strategy should be having the appropriate price product. All right, buying the YouTube channel would be horrible. When Seeker sold their channel to now, this is. The backlash from the subscribe. This is what I'm saying. I have seen what happened when I had Valencia do a video and people were not happy. They're like, we didn't subscribe to see her. We subscribe to see you. So that's why I see it could be um, challenging. Uh, someone tried to sell me their stock channel without his face. Mostly clips with voiceover. 
some like that will work where they never show their face. Something that you like the the Instagram account. I can continue the format because the guy has no videos of himself. You know, I'm you know, I, so it's very easy for me to continue the format. Ben Belitz, what's the scam? Mo Grizzly, I'm ready for paid advertising. Should I start a new channel? Just paid advertising or videos or using uh once again. If you have a YouTube channel and you start using paid traffic, know that YouTube is going to reduce your reach. Let me show you something. Uh, because uh, I can show you on a larger scale what this looks like. So we will get into this and we will go with Ty Low. Do 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 do. Okay. All right. So, Ty Lopez has one point three million subscribers, and he only got four thousand subscribers last month. You could see. This this is what someone's channel who uses paid traffic looks like. A lot of up and downs. You know, he 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 he's very inconsistent now because his channel because he used paid traffic and he has so much content. Um, he's able to you know and he has traffic coming in from Instagram. He has traffic coming in from Facebook, but his channel. If it was performing the way that someone with 1.3, like, let me give you, uh, let's see, Gary B. All right, look at Gary V's channel. All right, Gary's got two point. See, this is what Ty Lopez's channel would be doing if it wasn't compromised. Gary V's got 3.8 million views last 30 days, uh, 63,000 subscribers. And let's see, here's someone else's channel who has been hurt because he was using paid traffic. And this is why when he did his, you know, social media sucks thing, I knew that it was a lot more to it than what he said. See, channels dying. Boom. And this is one of the reasons because he uses paid traffic and his channel has been clumped up. So this is the dangers of using paid traffic on your channel. You got to be very careful because if I could have did it over, I would have created another channel to run my ads on the main channel because essentially, you know, I don't know if that would have worked. I don't know what YouTube would have done, but, you know, over the next year, it's my goal to really get very proficient with this. If you want to buy on digital asset empireflippers.com. Davida James, I was able to get sales from Facebook ads with my body oil business and my email list grew. Congratulations. Steve Jameson, you didn't like the profit margin. Yeah, you got to get away from the low uh, margin stuff. It would be hard for personality brands because the person is a lot of product. Exactly. Does it work with high paying affiliate programs? Yes. Um, this program that um, Russell Bronson, Tony Robbins. Uh, I think that program was selling for 4000 Ben, have you seen the Jim Hart videos? No, I haven't. Uh, BT the Carillion, what do you think about programming as a side hustle? It's a great side hustle, man. Programmers are in demand. 
Joe Rogan lifestyle lives videos on one channel and clips on another. That's interesting because you know buying an Instagram account is vastly different from buying a YouTube channel because Instagram you can still get some reach on the account that I bought was started in 2017 and it's getting followers and likes on stuff older stuff because this post I put up today I got 532 and I noticed with this you know change of style it may go down but I'm cool with that now the thing is when you're buying Instagram accounts you got to be careful because this account has a lot of Indian followers who are still, you know, I can still use that, but the U S followers is not as much as I thought they were. So that was a big part of that. But with any paid traffic program, you got to run the numbers. Their algorithm for live stream channels, different than clip channels. Absolutely. You know, doing consistent live streams can hurt your channel. But it's a it's dual edged poison because once you get your channel geared for live streams and you can get a lot of people to come on, if you stop, then the reach is reduced. YouTube giveth and YouTube taketh away. I don't even know ruthless rate. Uh, Fiverr is something that you got to work at for a while and you got to build up. But you know, pay traffic. Like I said, you got, you know, let me show you all of the options that you have. You've got Pinterest ads. So you can create ads with Pinterest. You've got Reddit ads and Reddit just revamped their ad program. You've got Facebook ads, Instagram ads, which is so you got, um, You've got Bing ads. Yeah, Bing is a thing. Oh, Microsoft Advertising, formerly Bing ads. You've got all of this stuff available to you. And, you know, because Facebook ads are so finicky, it, it really takes having someone with some knowledge, with like two to four years experience under their belt to help you. And like, you know, Reddit ads are very new. They're very low cost. I never ran Pinterest ads, Facebook ads. So you you have so many things. Also, uh, I've made sales and, you know, tomorrow I'm probably going to have to sit down because the thing is you got to sit down and study it. LinkedIn ads. So, you know, um, I've got some in here. I spent $438, but I made $250. Because the thing is, with LinkedIn ads, you can't run the ads off of your LinkedIn profile. You got to create a company page to run ads off of that, similar to what Facebook makes you do with uh, creating a page so you can run the ads off of that. But, you know, I'm the fact that I made two sales, I got to really work on sharpening that up and getting the page built up. Because LinkedIn is a place you can still get a lot of organic reach. And i am got a situation where I'm trying to hire someone to help me with my LinkedIn page. We just keep missing each other.
the Vita Jane, she had success on the ads. Bing is a search using in a search engine used mostly by baby boomers. A lot of money over there. And that's exactly why, you know, I brought them up because I heard that typically that the the views are not as high, but people spend over there. People spend on Bing. And these are older demographics. So if you've got products and services aimed at an older demographic, you know, you might do better with Bing than Facebook. And this is why, you know, I'm going to go through all of these platforms. I'm going to spend a little money, um, get a little help, hire people, because I have seen what happens when you nail ads like um, Russell Bronson, Tony Robinson, Tony, um, and this Dean, whatever his name is. They had a team on those ads. They Those ads were not put up willy-nilly. So, because, you know, essentially, uh, one of the things that can happen is if you have the right product in the ad set, there's no limit to the money that you can make. There's no limit. None. Uh, there was this one girl. Let's see. Body. What's her name? She should pop up. Hmm. I'm surprised she did not pop up. Uh, this girl. She had a. Uh, let me see. Good Lord. Can't find any of her stuff. Um, look, like, here's something that's very interesting because uh, I'm not going where I need to, but just to show you. Look at all these courses for body language, people. That's very big. Free body language course, top body language course, the secrets of body language, body. I'm telling you because essentially with the right level of traffic, I could take one of my courses like uh, the money management course, run ass to that and make literally 100K a month. That is the power of paid traffic. You can't do that with organic traffic. Organic traffic is very unpredictable. It's very um, sometimey. So this is why, you know, I made the, because the thing is, when you run ads on your page, the more followers you have, the better your ads work. So you can see that happening as well. LinkedIn is good for business and more. What's up, Nolan? Eric Williams, people have no freaking skills. They don't go out and speak to folks. That's why they struggle. I, I would say, yeah, because essentially I just put up three posts on Facebook and I got my pr problem solved by one person. Because you you got to go out and talk to people. You you actually got to network, get to know people, because you can only do so much yourself. And a lot of people, the this guy who's like, I can do it on my own. I can figure this all out myself for free. That guy is struggling. You know, I, I have enough social awareness to know Eric Williams, look what happened to Amos Wilson, the chocolate chip cook, cookie brother. Yeah, he, he couldn't even use his own name anymore. And that, that's one of the things. That's one of the reasons that I took 
the name off of the channel because it used to be Glendon Cameron double O, you know, Glendon 007. I had to get away from that. And notice I don't have anything that's named after me because personal brands are hard to sell. Personal brands are hard to scale. And personal brands like think of, you know, Elvis, Michael Jackson. Those are the, you know, those are personal brands that make millions of dollars, even though both the artists are dead. But typically, a personal brand is so me centric. And that's one of the things that when I changed up everything, I got away from the personal brands. You know, um, you know, Tony Anthony Robbins, he can get away with a personal brand. He's a personal brand, but he could never sell his company. Oh, you definitely. I mean, I'm getting ready to spend a lot of bread on, you know, LinkedIn. Because the thing is, I put together this ad set and it really wasn't that good. And I made two sales. So I'm like, hmm. Once I get this together, and this is why, you know, when you when you when you're dealing with people, you gotta wait. It's a waiting game because you never know what their schedules are booked like. So uh, I'm going to hire a LinkedIn expert to help me. I'm going to get a Facebook expert to help me. And I'm going to do some Bing ads. I'm going to do, I'm going to be all over the place. I'm getting my arms all around this because paid advertising. I mean, time is money. You know, we had this conversation this morning. You know, the person who feels that they can figure all this stuff out and do all this free research. The opportunity cost is massive. Let's say it takes you four years to figure out some stuff. You've lost hundreds of thousands of dollars, depending on what you were going to sell. So, you know, this is why I keep talking to my young entrepreneurs. Get over your adverse self of not wanting to pay any money for anything because that will hurt you. Fun fact, Mo Hannum, Dick Gregory died broke. His family had to start a GoFund page just to bury him because Pepsi owned the rights to his name after he sold his company to him because he never got it trademarked. Wow. I did not know that. And, you know, it's very narcissistic, you know, because we're all narcissists to a degree, to name your company after yourself because... I learned that lesson when I wanted to change. I know, man, it, it, it's interesting because I had haters on me who were going online across various websites using the Glendon Cameron brand. So that's when I came up with the Hustler Kung Fu brand. And when people, you know, because see, this is, you got to understand how your audience comes in. When people come to this YouTube channel for the first time, the only thing they know is what you tell them. And I realized it was the new people coming in that were doing the buying of the products. So I switched the name, Hustlers Kung Fu. And when someone will go look up Hustlers Kung Fu, they see YouTube channel, they see the websites. That was all they would see. They wouldn't see all that other foolishness. Ashton Richardson, you always hit a wall, no matter how intelligent you are. Free information is a jungle that takes a long time to navigate. You have to spend something to meet people to make money. Yep. Steve Jamin, many music artists don't even own their names or likenesses. And that's what these, these gangster contracts that these artists sign. And this is one of the reasons that when I was negotiating with the people who wanted to buy my book, I had two offers, one for $5,000, one for 10000 I was making more money on my own, so I turned both of them down. But I was able to read the contract. And it, it, the contract, it wasn't really good for me. It was great for the, the publishing company, but it wasn't good for me. I had to take the book. I had to stop selling the book, which was a problem. 
and then they were going to take it and it was going to take them almost a year to put re-release the book Irvin trying to use paid traffic for my wholesale business roadside roars they bought him out for 25k when he sold his company he didn't even get a dime good lord that is tragic man that is tragic but once again you know i got a post on money income profit page that's talking about most of the businesses owned by white men and i i just put that this needs to change and i boosted the post and white guys are losing it what's the problem the entitlement that so many of them have is scary well you know what's wrong with that well you know systematically and legally if things were more fair, a lot of y'all wouldn't have what you have. Thanks, Cruz, for the $5 super chat. Thanks for what you do. You real about this. Appreciate you. 360 deal, dumb ideal. Star Scott, and I tried doing free stuff for seven years and done work for Jack Squat. Seven years of opportunity cost. Seven years. Because... You know, like I said, I'm getting ready to open up the pocketbooks and make some investments in the business. Because, you know, essentially what I want to do is start buying houses, pay cash for them, convert that money into an asset that's going to pay that money back over time and create this massive tax advantage. Because let's see, I go ahead and make, you know, enough to pay cash for a house the, the house is going to start giving me tax advantages that i don't have deductions like crazy moham wow wait amos never had any lawyers just sold into a loan without information herbert scott why should the white guys have all the fun reginald lewis i love that book Thank you, Ashton Richardson, for the $4 super chat. But, I mean, it, it's it's got them twisted because they're like, well, let's not bring up race. If it wasn't for white people, race would not be an issue for black folks. So it gets very interesting. Can a small business benefit from the Trump? You know, it's not just the Trump tax plan. It's the Congress tax plan. Yeah. Seven years it hurt me, my family, and pissed off my parents. I mean, you have this opportunity cost. You have this huge opportunity cost of when you try to figure out stuff. I showed you this uh, girl this morning. You know, check out the other video of this girl. Her name is Vanessa Lou, where she spent $8,000 to get trained up for her business. She spent money from jump. And one of the things that I had that hit me was about 2000 because I was sitting there like, mm, should I use paid traffic? I didn't want to let the money go. But I'm glad I did because I learned a lot because that one strategy of finding a video with certain keywords and out spending enough money to outrank it. Once I stopped spending and it, it doesn't work anymore, it would stay ranked. It would still be ranked higher than the original video. Mentor Shelly, Mentor, the info on Dick Greg was not true. His son did a video talking and explaining about the real purpose of the GoFundMe. Okay. See, I don't know a lot about Dick Gregory. Steve James, they want to strong arm everyone Godfather style. Either your name or brains will be on the unfavorable contract. Old guard of white men. Well, you know, this is the new guard. You got a lot of kids, including kids in high school, who are not getting locked up in these tracks, these contracts. You got Chance the Rapper. He he made millions of dollars without a record label. And the other young kids paid attention. You got folks here on YouTube who got fan bases from YouTube who are going on tour. You sell how the 5,000 square foot, the you know, 5,000 person theater at $30.
for a ticket. Let's see, what is that? Let's, let me add that up. $30 times 5,000. Whoa, whoa, whoa. $30 times 5,000. $150,000. Uh, there was this kid, Maddie B. Raps. From his YouTube channel, he was touring the country, selling out these small venues, making a grip. I know he's still around. Let me see. So YouTube changed the game in so many different ways. Maddie B. Let's see where is this channel. Maddie B's up to 11 million. You know, 11 million subscribers is more uh, viewership than a lot of cable channels have. Maddie B raps has been around. He started this channel in 2010. This dude was doing tours. Let's see what his Instagram looked like. 3.7 million. He's grown up a little bit. He doesn't even have to go to college if he doesn't want to, because I think he started when he was like 10. And he's still rapping. Look at this. Here he is at a concert. Look at those people. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Get out of here. He's a jort. <laughs> Good Lord. He just got his driver's license 18 weeks ago. Dude just turned 16. So he started when he was like eight years old on YouTube. The house that little rap money bought. Dude just turned 16. That is crazy. Maddie B live in Atlanta, Sunday, January 27. Featuring the Hashank sisters. Let's see what Maddie B. What are he selling these tickets for? Let's see what he's selling these tickets for. Whoa! From 121? From $68? Good Lord! He making more cheese than I thought. He's selling. You know, he did all this on YouTube, man. YouTube is so powerful. Dude, YouTube, well, YouTube launched Justin Bieber.
I mean, Gabran, you're going to have to do that. I don't know nothing about coffee. Cleveland Smith, Lil Nas just signed an endorsement deal with Wrangler. Man, and people were upset. People were upset about that. It cracked me up, but he just did. Herbert Scott, I've been studying Michael Jackson's business. He started buying catalogs, publishing rights, and royalties payments in 1980. He would have died a nine-figure millionaire even without the solo career. Ashton, I would uh, I would not combine both of those. I would focus on one. I would say the photography would be the most lucrative thing. Little Nas X is on Columbia Record. Yeah, Matty B. I remember coming across him years ago, and I just remember his name. 11 million subscribers. Dude's doing concerts with $121 ticket prices. You do a small arena. 121 times 5,000. That's 605. That's six hundred thousand dollars in one day. Pretty much, Christian. Yep, uh, Soldier Boy, Justin Bieber. Yeah, the wealthy people go to college for a different reason because they go to different colleges. You don't go to Harvard to get a degree. You go to Harvard to make equal, like-minded connections. Michael, Michael, you know, I'm going to buy your music and I'm going to get your royalties, man. Michael was a gangster. I, I'm serious, man. And the dude's just turned 16. Producer, produce 13 men. Glenn, you always say not to trust the third party internet platform. Yet, isn't YouTube just a third party platform? You didn't, you just showed up. You didn't hear me talk about how YouTube's been trying to kill my channel since 2016. I don't trust YouTube, I utilize YouTube. Because, you know, a lot of people ask me that question, like, all right, just stop using YouTube. I don't trust YouTube. I don't trust them as far as I throw them. I just use them and continue to benefit. Yeah, YouTube is a third-party platform. But YouTube, because I was having this conversation with a guy, YouTube is very different from an Amazon. It's very different from a Facebook because... You can still explode here that you can't you can't do that on Amazon. Moham actually is true because oh um, I haven't studied him. What's up, Al Gordon? Michael Jackson was a gangster. Herbert Scott, Mike Move, Iron Fist aside, the sparkling velvet glove. Greg Cardone says daughters can only go to Harvard and Yale for the connections. I mean, you know, when you go to your first conference and you start meeting people, you can actually meet people who will be friends for the rest of your life. You can make some powerful connections. So th this is one of the things, but, you know, Using online advertising is something that you're going to have to do because, you you know, unless YouTube chooses you, there are people on YouTube who, who have been chosen who can launch a product and make millions off the free traffic. But if YouTube does not choose you, you're going to have to do what you do, you know, because if uh, if I was still where I used to be with YouTube, my income would be 5x. That's how powerful it is. And since YouTube's not going to give me the traffic, I'm just going to buy it. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Irvin Thomas, good man. 
Moham. Michael Jackson owned the Beatle catalog. Absolutely, Gabran, if you're good at networking. And see, you know, because when I'm trying to form you guys, that unless YouTube chooses you, because you, you can't, you know, or Facebook, you know, like some of these Facebook watch shows, these folks are getting a million, two million dollars a year for these shows because they got chosen. I know a girl uh, last year, she did one point five million, the most money she and her husband paid. And she was shocked at the taxes they had to pay. Because I tell people the truth. At one point, YouTube did not care if you use profanity. That is very much a problem if you use profanity now that will limit the ads that they play on your channel. I don't know why they hate me. It just happened. You know, we, we every morning I get up and do battle. Every morning. And now, uh, once again, I'm getting ready to do some more battle on a whole nother line. Cleveland Smith, I did paid advertising to drive sales for pop socket, stop paying, still getting sales. Sometimes you could create a, an aver a commercial that is so good that even after you stop paying, it still gains traction. This is one of the things that you have to do. Cleveland, before paid traffic, no sales. I don't believe this notion that the rich people are trying to prevent poor people from uh, finding out about financial literacy. I think a lot of people just don't really care about it. A lot of people just don't care to inform themselves that with all the things that are available out here, you don't have to be poor in America. You don't. Three videos, three years old, finally boom on YouTube from 3K to 120K video in one month. Sometimes, like, I was really surprised YouTube chose me for the Rich People of Atlanta video. They cock blocked you for it. I mean, YouTube is very interesting because right now with the new algorithm, you have people who are relatively unknown exploding in less than a year. I'm talking about getting a million subscribers. This, this is one of the things. But I will continue to use YouTube as long as I'm making money because um, my income has come from free traffic. And if YouTube and I wasn't doing battle, oh, God, my income would be five times what it is right now. If my channel was the way it used to be, 2016, because I noticed that all these channels started growing like crazy around 2016. And like right now, you could literally start in January and have a million subscribers by December if you get chosen by the YouTube algorithm. That's how powerful it is. Um, I'm going to VidCon only because I know people with small channels who went who went blowing up. No tags, no rule follow. I like, I just showed this this chick does nothing right, but she was chosen by YouTube. It's like, hey, we're going like you ever notice this how certain people you you they they put their video in front of you. They like, look, you need to watch this. And you watch it, then they like, okay, you really need to watch this. Because, Erica, you haven't used paid traffic on your channel, so you could still organically grow. Um, I'm going to keep using paid traffic on my channel because that's what keeps the money coming in. I don't know about Alex, uh, Amazon's Alexa flash briefing. We're not going to talk about politics. We're going to talk about money. I've dialed down the political rhetoric because, you know, people just don't care. They like it's just a, how America is. But to take your business to the next level, you need to learn how to do paid traffic yourself 
or align yourself with someone in your organization that knows how to run paid traffic. Because like I said, I'm going to hire someone to do Facebook ads for me. I'm still, and I'm not just going to start with Facebook ads. I'm going to do Instagram ads. I'm going to do Bing. I'm going to do Reddit. LinkedIn, I've already, you know, just, you know, scratched the surface with that. I know that I can make some money there. I just got to set up my LinkedIn profile. Because the big thing about paid traffic is the setup. How you set your funnel up, your landing pages and all this stuff, this matters greatly because and this is how you measure how good or how bad the paid traffic is. It's very, very important. Uh, people just don't care. I think this administration has just beaten people down with too much, just too much. Every day it was like a new scandal. I mean, frankly, you know, I was a political junkie and I got tired of it. I was like, this is just crazy. But start paying attention to paid traffic. Like if you have, I mean, if you're doing Shopify store and drop shipping, this is something you need to become very proficient at because I was watching one of the drop shipping videos and they were talking about, this is how I found out about Reddit. I didn't know Reddit had ads. The dude was listing down all of these things, all these places you can get traffic. And he even said that people on Bing spend more money. This is why you got to keep watching people getting these little nuggets and stuff. I believe Snapchat has ads as well. I would not run any ads at Snapchat. Let's see. Snap. Chat. Ads. Yep. Snapchat has ads. Uh, Twitter has ads. This is how these platforms are monetizing. But, you know, if you're going to do... Because essentially, I have sit down, I've sat down and watched people like you'll see these new people, these new gurus, these new experts you never heard of. And within two years, they're making six figures. Facebook ads. Came across one today. I was like, who is this? And she's an expert on coaching and stuff. The girl looks like she's 22 years old. And, you know, people work with her. She got testimonials. She lives in California by herself. Because, see, this is, you know, this is what the stuff I look at. When someone is claiming to make money, I look at how they live. For a young woman to be living in California in a nice place by herself, she's making money. Because a lot of people in California have roommates. Two, three, four, five, six roommates. Living up in the hood because the rent on that hood place is 4K and it takes three to four people to pay that 4K a month. I think virtually everyone has ads, you know, and depending upon, you know, um, I'm going to actually start doing some Instagram ads. Now that I have an Instagram account, I'm going to, like I said, June is going to be a hot month in more ways than one. Because one of the things I have going for me is I have a lot of courses. I could put an ad on 30 days to 2,500. I could put an ad on asking for the money. I could put an ad on the art of holding. This is why I got to assemble a team where people know me, know my objectives, and we go ahead and create these assets. Because like I said, my goal is my retirement goal is to buy, you know, houses between three hundred and four hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year, pay cash, and go ahead and start getting those deductions. 
in that passive income coming in one or two a year if i could do two a year next five years come out of this with 10 properties that are owned paid for and clear free and clear and producing cash throw them off in the trust fund for the kid so you know succession because i could create the trust fund with the properties and just be like okay um this you know because you can sub trust fund any way you want to i could set it up to pay me until i expire and then once i expire then the trust fund will pay the beneficiaries i could set it up that way there's so many possibilities here and this is why you know i'm, I'm coming to you guys you need paid advertising you know the folks you know and you need to go out and go ahead and get yourself some help. Eric Weedy, I'm trying to hire two assistants to run ads. It will be wild. It will be crazy. You start people running ads, you become an overnight household name brand. They're like Erica Williams. Erica Williams on CNBC. This is what's happening to all of these people who align themselves with people who, who start blowing up overnight. Cruz. We don't do jobs here. We do businesses, man. Because, see, uh, my goal is once I find the right people, because I got to find the right people, and I'm going to run ads on all these courses. You know, that's something that's funny, Erica. Linda, you can live to 90 years old, wealthy. H.G. E. Gaston was 101. I have noticed that. That's something else that I have peeped. That a, a Rockefeller dude got like two or three liver transplants. He was like 107. Money does buy longevity. BT the creator. Yeah, because, you know, once I get this stuff rolling, because uh, essentially, I want to speed up the process. Because if I can get to a million a month, I would buy a property per month. I would have my own property management company. I would hire people. And I would do stuff that, you know, a lot of these folks, because I watch these real estate videos and they try to do the least amount possible and put it all on the tenant. I would say you rent this house, lawn services included. I would have someone go cut the lawn. That would just be part of the rent. Bush Sr., Buffett and Munger still going. Steve Jameson, they'll be printing new organs for us by the end. Well, the goal is to buy uh, single family homes, but not to buy cheap ones. You know, 300 to 450,000, you're going to get a different kind of person that comes into that. And typically, you're going to get someone that has a family. Uh, the goal is to buy these houses in the excellent school system. What's up, Western Trading Company? So, you know, a million a month dropping like, you know, I would buy a property every month, pay my taxes. And every month I'll be getting a new tenant. Good brand, because people don't have that type of mindset. It just doesn't exist. So, you know, that that is the plan to roll out the rest of 2019 because like I've got the products. I just don't have the funnel. So I'm getting ready to uh, what's up, Kboard Diffs. Thanks. What I'm doing is going to create the funnel. Because the thing is, you know. I have become acclimated to spending. 
And that's one of the things you got to get your head around spending money. And then, you know, Facebook ads have changed dramatically since the um, Trump stuff in the election. So you got to roll with the punches. This is why I need to hire someone who deals with this, who keeps up with this, because, you know, uh, I know Keon, he runs his own ads. But he he's been doing this for years. So, and you know, I'm reaching out to some people, going to assemble a, a team, and you know, and then this isn't even for the courses I have yet to create. There will be more courses, there will be more training, there will be more books. It's just a matter of time. Steve Jameson is absolutely correct. I think that's what's something that's already forming. I think Erica is having a hand in that, connecting people, putting together uh, business-minded people who are on that business tip. So you will start having, you will start seeing these clusters because you see it with the teenagers. All of these guys, these young men, they want an exotic sports car and they get together and they start teaming up and they start spending money on mentors. And next thing you know, they got that Porsche GTR three up in the garage and they 22 years old. I mean, this is the information age of sharing because essentially the reason that these young guys have to get mentors is this stuff ain't online. Like uh, there was this one Facebook training course I was going to join and it closed where what they do is they teach you how to write the ads one week. Then the next week they tear your ads apart to make them better. Eric Williams, there are a lot of folks who help make super teams. I'm flying to New York just to be next to 30 people in one of my super teams. Deep thought. No, SEO and paid traffic are not the same thing. And you're going to have to be like super SEO today. SEO still works. It still works on YouTube. But you got to know what you're doing. Uh, no, Christian, I will not have my own app because... You know, I looked into the app game and essentially if you're going to create an app, it has to have a high degree of usability. I got all these apps on my phone, but literally there's a handful that I use every day. Just a handful. So. You're going to have some amazing stuff that's going to come out of money, income and profit this year. But, you know, I'm just being here to let you know that you guys need to start using paid traffic. And in the beginning, it's going to suck because there's going to be a learning curve. But the minute you start nailing this down, whoo, print money, print money, print money, print money. There was this one guy who did two million dollars in sales. And we know what he taught, how to do handstands. Two million in sales. Two million in sales, teaching how to do handstands. I've been watching these folks doing this stuff. See, with the internet, you could put together audiences for anything. Deep thought. That's why marketing 360 campaign bond. It was based on SEO. Richard Mayfield. What are you looking for? Is he tar? Hey, Glenn, in regards to paid advertising, look how Craigslist changed the rules and started changing the list on their website. 
Craigslist was making 25 to 30 million dollars a year just charging people for real estate ads in New York in California. And then they, they start charging for all these other ads and who knows how much money. Yeah, like, you know, SEO still works, but you have to be so up on it. Richard Mayfield, he he taught how to do handstands. There is an audience for everything. And due to the power of paid advertising, pinpoint accuracy, you can find your tribe. You know, you never in never in history could this be done before. Where you could find something such as nuanced as handstands. Uh, and, you know, I'm in a think if if group, I'm in the teachable group. There's a guy in there. They made sixty thousand dollars last year teaching people how to tie folks up. He was shocked. There is um, Matthew Hosey, the dating coach for women. He's having an event. He charges three thousand dollars for his event. See, paid traffic, Facebook advertising, Google advertising. Uh, I knew of a guy who was making about three million a month selling refrigerators online using Google AdWords. See, the issue is many people are not thinking at all. And, you know, once again, like my course, the money management course, I could put paid traffic on that. And get it up to 100k a month, or maybe even a million. That one course, because everybody needs to learn how to manage their money better. This is the world that we live in. The possibilities with a good product or service, paid traffic, and a good execution plan are limitless. There are no limits. Cleveland Smith, yeah. Earl Nightingale, people don't think. Uh, I would say you have to check out both of them and see which one you like. Um, I went with Teachable because I like the format. And I went with Think of It the first time because, you know, Think of It has made big changes. And then you've got Kajabi out there as well. So it just depends on what you like. Because essentially they do the same thing. And they're the same cost. I use Think of It and I use Teachable. And I may start with Kajabi also on the next thing. Because... Look at Tim Ferriss and what his one book did for him. There is so much money out here to be made. It's ridiculous for those who are ambitious. Like, I guarantee y'all going to see Erica on CNBC. She's going to be on the morning show. I have no desire to do that. That's why you're not going to see me on there. But that's where she's heading. I mean, part of putting this stuff together and, you know, it's incredible what you can put together if you have the goal. Because like I said, uh, matter of fact, let me go ahead and bring this up. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the one that I was talking about. She looks like she's 22.
she ain't that old. She's 20 something, like 22. She making like 300, 400K a year coaching. This is the money that she's making. She made $38,000. I think this is from one of her clients. $25,88. Predicted sales. And see, this is one of the reasons that I'm getting on the paid traffic tip. I'm tired of seeing these children because that's what she is to me. She's a child making this, this money. And see, you know, since I'm in this industry, I know the kind of money these people can make. I know the money that could be made doing this. This this is the money, man. This is what's coming in. This is what's going on. When I go to these events, you know, one of the issues that I have is you don't see enough black people involved. There is no one sitting out there saying, hey, you can't come in. There's no one that's not saying that. There's no one holding the door closed. No one. I mean, so many folks could be getting this kind of money. The possibilities. She's only been doing this about two and a half years because I went ahead and scoped out because I always, one of the things I like to do is check out their beginning i always like to look at how they begun how they got started because this is the thing you can do you can find this stuff up online it just takes a little deep research Let's see. Erica, haha, ha, depends if I get this husband and the kid, then I'm taking a break. Christian Amerson, what? This is crazy. So it seems to me you could damn near make money doing the teaching almost anything on the internet. Pretty much. It's about niches and tribes. Yep, she looks very young. That's why I researched her.
Matt Gershom, yeah, I know where she does more than that. No, nah, man, she doesn't. I mean, you know, you check out the Facebook page. I mean, there's, you know, there's just not enough of us who are getting into this. Uh, you're a troll. I will say what I want to say on my channel. And once again, I will say it. When, when I went to Vid Summit for the first time, there was five black people there out of 300 people. Five. You know, it, it, it's getting better with the younger people who are coming in. We're getting into, you know, for this Wi Fi bread. I'll say what I want to say on my channel. A lot of black folks are stuck in hood and ghetto culture and now they're embracing this digital money. Facts, as they say on these internet streets. Facts. Black folks are too much consumer of the internet versus architects of the internet you don't like how i talk you can leave this channel because this is just going to get worse from here because i'm not here to make you feel better about low expectations and low achievement levels herbert scott rather need the origin story i read many bios where they were gifted 30 100k now reality in my mind We're talking about paid traffic here. You know, if you want to, for everybody that wants to get into the money management course, this is where you go. This teaches you everything you need to know about. This is the course you need. You don't just jump in it. Money management is the basics of finance and wealth development. This gives you everything you need to know about the five checking accounts, five checking account blueprint. The link is under the video. So, I mean, there's just so many ways to make money. Yep. Uh, last year, there was way more because the word had gotten out. What's up, Johnny Wild? She's a coach. She coaches coaches. Coaching, if you didn't know, coaching is a massive business right now. You got people out here doing public speaking events, doing 100 to 200 to 300 to 400 K in the back of the room selling their courses after they speak on stage. Once again, you know, let's everybody get this Wi-Fi bread. I mean, it, it, it's crazy. Thanks, Runs, for the $2 Super Chat. Let's get this Wi-Fi bread because if you want to grow your business, you need to learn or start surrounding yourself with people who know how to do paid traffic. Like, I'm in the process of interviewing people, looking at them, setting them up to do my paid traffic. And, you know, I've got to build a relationship because I have so many products and then wh whichever is the best product that can get make the most money. AdWords is good for specific products because one of the things that you guys have got to start learning is what's good for what you do. You got to get into the research aspect. You got to get into the testing aspect. Because I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Let's get this Wi-Fi bread. I mean, there, this, there's so much money out of there, out here, that it's ridiculous if you open yourself to open up yourself to receive the money. That's where people have to be. They have to be open to receive the money. There are many people who don't think that this stuff is possible. This is like. This chick I just showed you, I see this all of the time. I see these people who 
who don't have my level of business experience, but they're making half the money I make in two to three years, which means I'm doing something wrong. I should be making 10 times more money than I'm making. And I'm just, in, you know, I just woke up to that fact. I was like, okay, you know what? Don't be a hater. Look at what they're doing and copy it. Don't be a hater. That's where I'm at. Because when I see this stuff and I see these people, you know, this, this just like, you know, handstands, tying people up. There is a market for virtually anything you can come up with. No, man, I, I did not see a network of brothers make money. I am one of the originals. 2009, there weren't a lot of black folks in social media. I'm one of the originals. I created the template on how to make money. So, no, no, no. I have been making money on the internet since 2000 with eBay and Amazon. I've been making money on the internet a long time. I didn't see anyone. I teach people how to make money online. I don't watch other people. And see, this is one of the things. You know, I'm 52 years old and people just don't want to give the proper respect that is earned because they're not as good as me. I mean, here's the thing. I created my own product from a business that made millions. No one taught me how to do that. I had to figure that out myself. Herbert Scott on YouTube, it was Glendon and Abdul Muhammad. Thank you. People who know, people who remember. It wasn't a lot of black folks on here. Oh, Western Trading Company. He's got troll in his name. Richard Mayfield, appreciate you. See, this is one of the problems that happens in the black manosphere. Everybody has an ego, whether the ego is deserved or not. We got a lot of people with egos, but very little results in accomplishment. What have you done? Like my boy, Alan Roger Curry, he created Mode One. He wrote books. He's been he's he's an architect of the internet. He's not a consumer. All right, Ron, you're using those FBA because I'm telling you, you're gonna have to get in on this ad game. One of the things that I have noticed over the years is that these kids, literal kids, 16, 17, 18 year old, they're dropping two and three grand a day on Facebook ads, and they're making 10, 15, 20K a day from selling products, drop shipping. Uh, what course do I need to learn how to make money online? You know, there's a go below the video. There's a few because I don't have any template courses, how to do X, Y, and Z. I have uh, how to, you know, how to be a better salesperson. You know, if you have a business, you know, if you don't know what you want to do, I would suggest 30 days to 2,500 because see, once I do this and put this together, cause like I said, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit, you know, this is the first day that I bought this Instagram account, which it seems to be going well. And I'm going to start running some ads on it. So we'll look at what that looks like. Um, I'm a person that does and then teaches. You don't get any theory or conceptual stuff here. You get things that work, that have been tried, tested, and proven. Well, once again, you made a mistake. Resurrection of Kenneth Thomas, Grandmaster Troll. 
I was in the founder of this. I was one. Of the, I was one of the first ones. And someone said it was me and my, my, my uh, you know, Abdul. Alan Rogers, a great content on for his books. Yeah, because uh, there's just too much ego over there and chest stomping from people with no accomplishments. I mean, you could put my name in Google and come up with a lot of stuff. Amazon page, several books, YouTube channel, online courses, online ed platforms. You, you Google me and you come up with stuff. You Google these folks, you come up with Nathan, nothing, not even a roach. But they want to act and speak as if they somebody with no results. Um, part of this thing is right now we are in the greatest time in history for someone to go from nothing to something in two or three years. Matt Grasham, what's been your experience with YouTube? They've been awesome. My experiences with YouTube ads have been great. I've used several different strategies. And this is the, the thing that I don't like. If you get a good strategy and it's working, at some point, AdWords is going to change up the game where it stops working or it's no longer effective. That's one of the things I hate. Uh, that strategy worked for about two years. I was like looking for videos, create a video, title it correctly, spin to outrank these people. And then the video would stay ranked and get traffic and bring in, you know, subscribers after I stopped spinning. And they were like, whoa, whoa, we can't keep doing that. Oh, that's funny. I thought you were about to pull an Alan Roger Curry and say, insert dog face here. I love when he does that. Yeah, I've been on YouTube 10 years. But once again, many people want to marginalize my accomplishments because they have none that are comparable. See, this YouTube game, I got on YouTube shortly after it was started. Uh, yes, Tiffany, I run my own YouTube ads. I'm pretty comfortable with the AdWords profile, you know, uh, platform. I've used it for about four years and I've loved the results. It's just, I want better results and I need to do some things differently. I need to create a little content that's a little different because um, there's too much money out here. Like, See, when I see something like her, let me put her up here. When I see somebody like her who's making like half the money that I make, but she doesn't have half of my experience. And, you know, I come to a situation where I am doing something wrong. Because if she's making that much money off her two and a half years of experience, I should be making 10 times more money. So what's the problem? And I go ahead and analyze like, okay, she uses Facebook ads. I don't use Facebook ads. That's a mistake. And, you know, I'm getting ready to correct all these mistakes. Russell Bronson owners of ClickFunnels said, MLA knows we're successful instead of reinventing the wheel. I've watched Glennon for a great uh, while. He's giving uncontent that's unfiltered. Hey, I'm just telling you how I feel. I'm getting tired of seeing these kids rolling around in these brand new Porsches, Teslas with money that they earned based upon what they've done is they've skilled up very quickly in a matter of months. Then they started taking this knowledge and selling it and making money. I am just like, you know what? Let's go ahead and begin working on this real estate empire. Let's go ahead and start putting some stuff into play. Let's go ahead and change up the game. 
because one of the things is YouTube has given me so much free traffic for many years. I just become spoiled. And this, this is the yin and yang. This is the pull because now, because I know that if I start the right YouTube channel, I can get crazy traffic, but YouTube is very finicky. I see stuff that explode and I'm like, okay, there's an audience for that, huh? Okay. So we will be putting together a lot of stuff. So, you know, I just want to inform you guys that you need to get on the paid traffic tip, start working with, you know, I mean, spending five bucks a day can teach you a lot. Tay Cheeks is a good thing that you recognize that and trying to fix it. I may be old, but I'm not stupid. I mean, once again, it does not pay to be a hater. I'm sitting here looking at these young people put together this stuff. I'm looking at like they're using Instagram. They're using Facebook ads. Because, you know, I'm a natural writer. And once I get into my creative, I can come up with some amazing stuff. And, you know, you Google this chick's name. She's all over Google. She's done a very good job of putting her name out there and building her business. And then it's Vanessa Lou. She's doing a good job of building it. And I'm like, okay, what are they doing that you're not doing? They're on Instagram. They're using Facebook ads. They got all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, okay, I'm about to copy them. I'm just calling me the great big copycat. I'm about to start copying people left and right. Let's get this Wi-Fi bread. I may start doing it because I, I love that. Let's get this Wi-Fi bread. I want you to think for me to run a storage auction business and take that almost 10 years of knowledge and put it into a book and continue to make money off of the storage auction stuff without ever buying another locker without cleaning out a unit, without ever selling anything on Craigslist. I continue to make money off of storage auctions for almost 20 years. That's the power of intellectual capital. Christian Amerson, I plan on you making a corporation, how many employees monetarily? You know, the goal is a million a month so I can buy a property per month. And not that many employees, maybe a team of five, and they will be outsourced because I'm going to get a paid traffic person to run my ads. That's 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 already in the cards. And then I'm going to get some assistance. So it's, it's not going to be that big. I, I just want you to think. The ability to conceptualize making a million a month and buying one property a month and getting a new renter every month. If I'm able to do that for a year, make a million a month, get 12 properties, rents. Let's see what I, what I anticipate, what I project the rents to be. Because, you know, on these houses, rent's going to be 2500 times 12 it's thirty thousand dollars a month passive income plus you own the property that's wealth because see i'm on this wealth building tip you know call it the second fortune so let's get this wi-fi bread it's going to be out here i mean the ability to put together a business online is so doable. It's not easy, but it's doable. And, you know, I will talk about black folks. More black folks need to get in on this because it's always some black person who's saying, man, you need to stop selling those courses and you need to get a job and be like me. Limited mindset low expectations i refuse to adopt them richard mayfield definitely looking to write a book about my reseller journey 
I mean, there's so many things out there. Like The Walking Dead was a graphic comic. It was a graphic novel. They turned that into a show. I mean, the possibilities are so endless. The... Walking Dead was a graphic novel. Someone bought this concept. It's a comic book. And they turned that into a show. Intellectual capital, baby. It's hard to beat. And this is what the thing that liberated me from the storage auction business. I did not realize how much that book would change my life. So, you know, The Walking Dead, Hello Kitty. You know, Hello Kitty's like 35 years old. No, I think Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty came about. 1974. My bad. Hello Kitty is 40 something years old. Still has a growing fan base and still making money. Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty getting that Wi Fi bread. Look at this. Hello Kitty. We will look at the traffic to the website. I know it's going to be some sick. Look at this. Eight hundred thousand, no, six hundred thousand. And that's just that site because when I put it in. you get this one so that site don't know how much that site's getting come on man let's get this wi-fi bread it's out here to be had man Deep thought being the victim is something that people like. Absolutely. Go Hello Kitty. Yeah, man. This, 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 there's so many things out there to do. But I'm, I'm getting ready to go. For those of you who need starting capital, go below the video. There's some immediate hustles, some things you can start doing that you can get money this weekend if you hustle hard enough. Shore up those finances. We've got a lot of courses below the video. So with that, I will see you guys in the next live stream.